Hey everybody, this is Pablo with Mattress Makers. And in this episode of Mattressology, we're gonna talk about the four reasons why Main Street mattress companies do not use latex. Let's go. If you guys followed any of our videos, um, seen any of our videos in the past, you guys know we have a bias towards latex. We believe latex in mattresses <laughs> are probably the best material for mattresses, in our opinion. They can last you at least two to four times longer than foam, especially memory foam. If you're worried about any, any chemicals, if you have any chemical sensitivities, it does not off-gas like foam does. And it does sleep cooler than foam. Um, it doesn't like, trap heat like foam does. Yep. Support-wise, kind of pushes back, a little bit more active support. So those are like, some of the reasons why uh, we found that latex is better in our opinion, but we, we've already done videos on, we're not gonna go too deep on that. But a question that comes up quite a bit, actually came up again the other day, if latex is so good, how come I don't see it used in mainstream mattresses? I've never even heard about latex. So we wanna do this video to show you like why you know, you're not gonna see it. Because there are some significant reasons why a lot of these mainstream companies are not gonna use latex. When I say mainstream companies, I'm not trying to bash them, but I'm talking about like the Sealy's, the Simmons, the Certa's, the Tempur-Pedic's. Now they do use latex on some of their mattresses. Some of their mattresses have latex in it, but it's not used prominently. Yeah, yeah it's very minimal. They do have some, but it's not really a big part of their, their makeup. Mm -hmm. So Gabe, what would you say is probably the number one reason why you don't see latex used in a lot of these mainstream companies. Yeah, the biggest one is gonna be, it's so expensive, right? So much more expensive for latex yes. than it is for foam. Oh yeah, that's that's the biggest reason why. Especially with containers going up. Yeah. Uh, container pricing gone up, it has almost doubled. Latex is, has to be grown, right? So it's grown from a tree. It's not grown anywhere here in the United States. So it's brought either in South, brought from South America, brought from Southeast Asia. So it's gonna cost a lot more money to bring that latex here you know, then would be foam, right? Local yes. To produce it locally. Yeah, yeah. And like, for example, like let's say this block of foam to use in a mattress is gonna run around 50 bucks. The same size, same amount of latex used is gonna be about two to $300. So it's significantly more expensive to do latex than to do to use foam. Yeah. And we know with the a lot of the, the margins that a lot of these mainstream companies are used to getting that they need to make, you know, to be profitable, they would price themselves out of the market mm -hmm. and not be no longer be competitive to use the amount of latex that like the smaller company uses. And I do see, they'll use like a half an inch of latex sometimes, yeah. you know, just if they have latex, maybe at the most an inch, but mm -hmm. to be significant, like three, four, five inches of latex, or sometimes, you know, we'll use 12, 12 inches, inches of latex. Yeah. yeah. Cost of that mattress would be at least three times. Oh, so right, right, yeah. Than what we do, you know, because they have to make these bigger margins, you know? So that is probably one of the biggest reasons why it is just so much more expensive to use this than it is this. Yeah. The second reason why you you don't see latex used in all these mainstream companies, Gabe, what would you say number two? There's nothing proprietary about latex, right? That you can't say with foam. And what I mean by that is you look at a mattress build out, whatever whoever's making that mattress, whatever brand is making you say it's you know they trademark it's an aerated foam yeah. or it is a you know fast response foam. You yeah. can't you can't you know, trademark those things, right? Latex is latex. Yeah. Right, so nothing proprietary about it. Yeah, and, but you know what? Companies out there that have done, like, they try to infuse latex, mm -hmm. like copper. I've seen copper, right. copper, there's copper gel yeah. infused latex, graphite infused latex. Now, here's the problem with that. The reason why people like latex is the durability of the latex. Yeah. And the chemical free aspect of the latex. For sure. Those are the, the two big reasons why I see people with latex. Mm -hmm. But once you start doing those things with latex, you lessen that durability and you take away that whole natural aspect. Right. And it just doesn't perform the way latex is used to perform. And it's better than foam. I would say, I would give it that. It is better than foam, but you're very limited on the proprietary aspect. Yeah, like you were saying, what, like air cool, cool max, cool max, foam. Yeah, all these, all these fancy names, right? Yeah, like they'll, you know, they'll put a new color, you know, the, the little swirls and the gel in there I've seen. Yeah. You could do all that and they're like, this is our own foam. I can't compare this with another company, mm -hmm. you know, because we have this Hypergel Lux uh, Cool Max foam, you know, they don't have that. With latex, it's easy. you really don't, you can't do that story. Yeah, the second one I can think of, that's reason why it's not, not you know, those big manufacturers aren't using latex. And then, so the third reason why you don't see latex used as much in the mainstream, was, what would you say? Ah, uh, it's, it's, it's tougher to manufacture latex than it is foam. So when the latex is manufactured, right, they're pouring them in this mold, in these six inch blocks. So you have to pour them individually. Whereas with foam, you're making this huge, like, I don't know, think of like bread, 
right? And you slice the bread. So you're making these big buns of, of, of foam, uh, so it's a lot more easier to, to manufacture. Cost, we already talked about cost. Yeah. It's cheaper, so the ease of manufacturing is gonna be a lot easier with foam than it is. Like, oh yeah, yeah, you could mass produce so much easier. You can mass produce this by the tons compared to with latex. Yeah. Dudes. And you were, you were just saying too, how these guys are, we have to ship these from the other side of the world. You know, yeah. these come from Southeast Asia, sometimes in South America, where we can mass produce it pretty easy. Yep. You know, it is a lot more labor intensive to do latex than it is foam. Yeah. Yeah. And then with container prices, and I kind of mentioned earlier, but yeah, container prices have shot through the roof. Oh, yeah. Know, where these sure. all have to be imported. You really don't have to import these, at least the raw materials, not as much as this. Yeah. Are this coming from Sri Lanka? Is what yeah. Yep. Yeah. The number three was that the ease to manufacture. It's a lot easier to do this than it is to do this. Yep. So number four, the four reasons why we don't see it used, which I would say it is a probably a positive for, for foam. It is. Oh, yeah. absolutely. It's going to be, uh, you have more ranges of comfort with yes. foam yes. than you do with latex. You do. You you're do. a little bit limited. You're, you're limited on certain like firmnesses with latex compared to foam. That's true. You know? Yeah. Because these are synthetic, like you, you, you can manipulate these a lot more. There's a lot more, like with latex, latex, there is a range. There is a range mm -hmm. of comfort. You know, you could get an extra soft, you could get an extra firm. Yep. That range is, you know, pretty good and it's noticeable. That range with foam, where the latex is like this, the range of foam is like this, yeah. you know? And also, if there's different, more feels too, it's not only like wider, but you know, there is a lot more depth too because they do have oh yeah a lot of like more unique ability to get you a different feel like mm -hmm. memory foam feels a lot more different than like just regular polyurethane foam or yeah. AR foam. and this right here is not even memory foam this is a they call it hyper gel and it's like a almost like an in-between right it's a it feels like a kind of tweener between like foam memory foam latex, latex like different yeah. way it responds there is more range of, of comfort and that's and that's that's tells you something about polyurethane foam. That's, yeah. That is a plus polyurethane foam. But you can still get a heck of a comfortable mattress with a latex. Yep. Those are the four big reasons why you're not seeing latex used as much in um, the mainstream as you do, as we think that it should be. I hope this helped you guys. If you guys have any questions, just leave them in the comments, and I'm trying to get back to those questions. Uh, support, subscribe. You can, yeah, yeah, subscribe, hit the like button, share it with the, anybody that's looking for a mattress that you know, share it with your friends on any of the social media channels. We love it. Yes, and also, if you're still on your mattress journey, we put together a guide, a little mattress guide for you. Um, you can just download it um, from one of the, from the link below. If you're new to mattress shopping, check out our latex versus um, memory foam video. That's a great video to start. And also Talalay versus Dunlop. Those are the two videos, probably the next one I would watch. Hope this helped. Thanks for watching. Thank you.